between you and me, Stephen. Yeah, all right, that it's Christmas, eh? Mm -hmm. It is, and you went out one the other night. Yeah, and I'm sorry, honest. You left them too worried sick, thinking you were lying in some ditch somewhere. Yeah, and I've apologized. Uh, nah, nah, not me. I laid odds on you right in the rise somewhere. You want to know something else? Nope. What are you going to tell me, like? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I was worried too, and I'll tell you why. I thought to myself, can this young man be so buck stupid, eh? He's got a beautiful, beautiful wife who thinks the world of him. He's got this place. Look, he's got all this. What does he do? Leaves her standing here in tears so he can go gallivanting around the town like some big man around the casinos and the bars with a load of guys who haven't even seen the light of day. <laughs> yeah, well, you did it. <laughs> Aye. Maybe that's why you should listen to me, son. You should start counting your blessings before you find you're working from memory. You get my drift? We are getting a dishwasher. <laughs> hey, now, those are very nice, mate. Certainly not cheap. All right, aren't they? Yeah. She must love you. Call it an investment. An investment. And what is that? <laughs> that appears to be a bow tie. <laughs> well, I just thought I could see it on you, you know, for, like, do's and things. You reckon? Yeah, you know, I think it might suit you. Do you know how right. to put it on? Well, presumably it comes with instructions. Go on, then. No, behave yourself. <laughs> I'll put it on later. Uh, Stephen, you haven't got Victoria's present yet? Oh, I have. Christmas. Thanks. Wrap this up nicely. Thanks. Oh, an egg! Mm. That'll be for somebody's face, no doubt. Hey. Hang on. Oh, they are gorgeous. Uh, looks to me like a very nice way of saying sorry. They are. Hey, did you choose them? Well, I had some help, you know. Was... Well, whoever it was must have been inspired because they're exactly what I wanted. <laughs> well, you've uh, got the girl and you've got the number plates. All you need now is to go out and find a car worth putting them on. <laughs> yes, you've got some incentive now, son, so you have. Why is everybody getting at me? You know, I haven't even done anything. Uh, nobody's getting at me. <laughs> no, yet. I'm doing all right, aren't I? I've got, I've got, I've got me business. Everything's going oi, all right, oi, isn't oi, it? Hey, Stephen. Oi, mean, oi, hey, what? oi. It was a joke. Right, all right. Hey, let's have a toast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, then I'll give you a toast next Christmas. I'll buy you a Merc, eh? Well, That's let's about give that. a few more Christmas. No, shall no, we? no. You'll see. To Vicky's Merc. No, a proper toast, I mean, because it's not often we all sit down like this as a family, you know, round the table. It's a very nice table, too. Hey, how we're going to batter you, my lad, and you know why, but uh, if you've made it up to Vicky, well, all right, it's Christmas. I'll kill you later. <laughs> so, here's to us. To us. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Ooh, visitors. More people, great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Detective Constable Cannon, madam, I have a warrant to search these premises and these officers are here to assist me. There's nothing here. I have a warrant, sir. Oh, no, wait a minute. All the stuff you got from the print shop, that's it. That's the lot. I have to execute the warrant, sir. Oh, but wait a minute. Why now? I mean, you know what day it is, do you? I think you should make this lady a cup of tea, sir. Just stay where you are, if you would. We'll try to do this as quickly as possible, but it might spoil your dinner. Sorry about that. Vicky, I'm sorry. They got all the what from the print shop. Get away from me! Just get away from me! If I ever speak to you again, 